Hi everyone, welcome back. My name's Alicia, thanks for joining me again this week. Today we're celebrating the first Sunday of Lent. In the Gospel today, we hear about how Jesus went out into the desert to fast and pray for 40 days. This is a reading from the Gospel of Mark. After his baptism, the Holy Spirit sent Jesus out into the desert. He stayed there for 40 days and was tempted by Satan to do what was wrong and the angels were with Jesus to help him. When Jesus returned to Galilee, he told everyone the good news of God. The time has come. Change your lives and believe in the gospel. The gospel of the Lord. In the gospel story today, Jesus goes out into the desert to fast and pray for 40 days. During the 40 days of Lent, the church asks us to do three things, to fast, give alms, and to pray. To fast during Lent, we don't eat meat on Fridays. Many people give up things like candy or desserts for all of Lent. When we give up food that we like, it reminds us that food isn't the only thing we need. We need God, too. Giving alms means giving money or other things like our time to the sick or the poor or the church. Giving money isn't the only way we can give alms. We can also give our time. Maybe we can help mom or dad clean the house or spend some time writing a letter or drawing a picture for a grandparent or someone else we haven't seen in a while. You can even do kind things for others as a way to give alms and thanks. The third thing that we should do during Lent is pray. You could say an extra prayer every day, maybe an Our Father or a Hail Mary before you go to bed or when you wake up each morning. Another great idea is reading a bit of the Bible. Maybe you want to read your favorite stories with your family and talk about which ones your favorites are and why. What are some little things that you can do during Lent? Try to do things that will help you think about God and Jesus each day. Lent is a special time when we prepare for Easter. We take time in Lent to pray more, to think about how we live our lives. This time can help us to change our behaviors and make us become better people and grow in faith. This week, I created a Lenten calendar. I wrote down all the days between now and Easter in April. And I wrote down different things that I could do in Lent to help keep track of how many days are left until Easter. I'm also reminded of ways I can think about God each day. I chose to make hearts to keep track, and I put them all in a bucket. And each day, I'm going to pick one out. Um, I chose to write some that were good deeds, like help clean up or write a thank you note. Um, and I wrote some that are ideas for prayers, like say a special prayer for your family or your school and read a Bible story about Jesus. And others I wrote about something that I will give up for that day, like no TV today or no sweets today. And each day that I do these, I will take them out of the bucket and then take them up on the day that I've done them. And then I can watch as my deeds of Lent to fill up the calendar until it's time for Easter. I hope you all have a great week this week. I'll see you next time. Bye.